on this episode of Salt and Siren. Ah, two weeks without the boat. We're gonna show you what we do when we're not living aboard and why this little passage here has kind of changed our life forever. And I show you this really rad boat that I sold. Totally cool. Got a little work done. Mm-hmm, yep, that's work. Made it to the tail end of a wedding. Did a road trip all the way through Tennessee to Florida and, you know, ran into the Pinta. All normal stuff. So, of course, our life is anything but conventional, but we do have a land life and we're not full-time liveaboards and we had to go back to it for a few weeks and that's what followed this adventure on Lake Michigan. So why on earth was this little adventure so memorable and life impacting? Well, we think it's high time that we introduce you to our newest family member. It's a new shipmate. Look, who's that? <laughs> it's Pippi. This is Pippi, as in long stocking, because Pippi was a adventurer childhood favorite of mine. <laughs> we call her Pip for short. Despite the fact that Todd and I are actually kind of dog people, uh, we thought that maybe a cat would be a better choice for living on board. We recently lost our last dog uh, a few months back and we just thought that it was time to open our hearts again to another lovely little creature. So we're super excited to have Pippi along. And you know, she's really taking to boat life. She's helping us out all the time. If you look at this dimension, that's 11 feet. So it's probably about nine feet long. Eight and a <laughs> half to nine feet long. <laughs> Thanks patrons for keeping it a secret. So when it comes to my land-loving work, I am a professional coach. So I help people with business and learning more about themselves and going next level. And I totally love what I do. And for the last six or so years, I have been running my little entertainment company, Pure the Company. And we host bachelorette parties and whatnot. And I had one in Columbus, Ohio. We just love working with women. They're so much fun. And I'm also a boat broker, as I've mentioned before. And so while I was home, I got a chance to sell one of my listings. It was a 2003 Eliminator 300. Oh my God, you guys, this boat is incredible. I love that my work uh, takes me on the water because this is my new lifestyle and I thought it would be really fun to sell boats. And so here I am. But you have to check out the speed on this freaking boat. No words, just no words. When it comes to Sir Salt, he is a mechanical engineer and he and his business partner, Mark, own Levax Technical Services. And they spend a lot of time in places like this, <laughs> in the bowels of buildings and behind the scenes to make sure everything is working. So they spend a lot of time tagging and researching and uncovering and reporting and commissioning and meeting and all things in between. He works his butt off and I love him for it. And actually, speaking of Todd's business partner, Mark, this is the wedding that I managed to make it to from that bachelorette party in uh, Columbus, Ohio. His son, Eric, got married, and uh, big congratulations to him and his bride. And uh, it was fun. We always enjoy a good wedding and a good dance floor. And um, as you can see, yep, it was the end of the night. And I just like chasing Todd around with a camera. It gives me great joy to embarrass him. And you know, Sometimes we get on camera together, unbeknownst to Todd. <laughs> what is actually happening is um, I'm in the car again. Summertime seems like I spend a lot more time in the car than I normally do, but anyway. Um, I am headed to Florida to pick up Evan again, <laughs> and then we will drive back the next day. So yeah, Indy to Florida, Florida in to Indy in a matter of 48 hours. Pray for me and send all the coffee. So yep, I spend a lot of time in the car as a long distance parent. 
Uh, but I don't mind, actually. Uh, I get a lot accomplished. I get a lot of thinking done. It's kind of dangerous. <laughs> uh, I get to see a lot of cool scenery, so I don't mind that as well. It definitely could be worse. And at the end of it, I don't mind, because I get a prize every time. That one. I'm totally putting this all over YouTube. No, I don't. Yep. Watch me. This dude and I have been doing a lot of road trips. I mean, ever since he was a baby. So we've got this thing down pat, and we do a lot of joking around, and we have a lot of fun, but I love having him as a travel companion. He's the best. And there was some purpose, actually, to this road trip. After I picked him up, we did a two-hour detour, which was already a long trip to begin with, to Green Turtle Bay, which is located in Kentucky Lake, um, Land Between Lakes, if you've heard of that. And we're hoping this is where we're going to get the boat in the fall. And I wanted to get my eyes on it. I wanted to see if I could talk to the harbor master. He actually wasn't there, but I have had a number of email conversations with him. He's been super, super helpful. Thank you, Bill. And uh, we love this place. I mean, it's really a beautiful marina. Uh, it has everything. It has kind of like the, the whole yacht club. Uh, it has lots of docks uh, covered and uncovered. It has uh, storage, it has a spa, it has restaurants, uh, and we're thinking that we'll use Boatworks uh, as well uh, to help us with some of the projects that we want to do over the winter and dry dock it here until we can put it back in the water in the spring. Oh, and we have impeccable timing because the Nina and the Pinta were there visiting the marina and making their grand tour, so it's kind of cool to see that. From there, we just hopped back in the car and we kept driving and uh, we just enjoyed the scenery and uh, each other's company. And honestly, there's just memories everywhere that you look if you're paying attention. And this is what I love about road trips and spending time with Evan. We took in one last beautiful look at the sunset over Bloomington before we made it back into Indianapolis. Next time on Salt and Siren, we are back in Chicago. And this time, we have even more people to introduce you to. And uh, of course, we get pizza because we that's just what we do. And then Evan and Todd managed to look under the boat. And we also have a little incident oh my God. with Pip. <laughs> and I thought I'd show you what it's like to live at a marina. See you next time.